At the end of the day, right, it's only so many things that can happen in a football game. They all go and watch somebody else interview and then just recycle their questions in a different way. Right. But my thing is, why it ain't boring and annoying to the people that's watching it? It is. Ain't they tired of seeing the same I've heard the same thing over and over again. I would rather see Marshawn Lynch in a spa having champagne than hear about what he thought about the box being packed during the game. See? It takes an everyman to solve an everyday problem. That's why the superstars come to me. I'm Jono, and I'm here with the assist. What's up, everybody? For DraftKings, I'm Jono Wilson, and this is The Assist, where we act as the personal assistant to some of the game's biggest stars. Today, we're at the Woodhouse Day Spa in the Bay Area, and I'm here to help my buddy, Marshawn Lynch, relax a little bit. Now, this guy is beast mode on the field, and he's also beast mode off the field. And if you ask anybody, they know that I know how to relax. So I'm going to assist my friend Marshawn into getting into relax mode. Marshawn. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Good cool. to see you. How you feeling? I'm all right. Yeah? yeah? I think you're gonna feel even better because I got a whole spa day planned for us. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So look, this is my first time, right? Okay. So I ain't into no weird stuff. There's, there is nothing weird that we could do here. We're just gonna take care of your feet. It's women, right? Yeah. Come We're on, all let's over go. Place. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. let's go. Let's go. Oh wait, wait. First, we gotta robe up. I'm gonna. You're, this is what you're gonna wear. My robe, pretty nice. All right, I'm. It is nice. All oh, good, chief. Man, I was so close to just sharing a locker room with Marshawn Lynch. That was damn. Oh, Settled in, feeling good. What is this? Oh, Hi, Marshawn. Gentlemen. This is Jen. I'm Jen. I'm the owner of the Wood House. Welcome. Today we're going to take good care of you. Vicky over here is your nail tech, and Maria over here is your other nail tech. They're going to be performing the warm agave nectar pedicure. 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 We've got a timeout on the field. <laughs> Quick coach's challenge. Pedicure. Now, what, what, what is this you speak of? So, you, we are going to take care of your feet. I know they're very important to you. True. Yes. yes. Yeah, but I'm a, I mean, I'm going to let you play with my feet, baby. I'm going to let you play with my feet. But we ain't, we ain't putting no nail polish or none of that no, kind of no, stuff no, no, on no, no, That's. No. No nail polish. Oh, okay. Unless you want it. We do have some pretty colors. <laughs> All right. We'll relax cool. and enjoy. Welcome as our guest. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Jen. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Hold on. What you putting in my head? What was that? It's a warm agave milk bath. I've never had this done. Hey, man, it's the first time for everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess it up by saying what you ain't did. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> enjoy the experience. Milk bath. Right. That's something I could scratch off the bucket list. Look at this shit. Oh, I probably can't cuss for y'all. We can bleep it out. Oh, well, shit. There honestly, we go. Marshawn, honestly, fuck it, man. Shit, I, I mean. We got some champagne back here. There it is. Now we're talking. This is for us. Thank you, my friend. Here, wait, what are you doing? You, oh, you're not gonna have it? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> What's the last year been like for you? Uh, the last year been very eventful for me, man. I got out to some other countries where shit is real. Just let me know, I didn't know shit. Where'd you go? Whew, where did I go? Corsica, France, Scotland, Haiti, Nairobi, and then I've been uh, in uh, Egypt, Amsterdam. You know, I went to go see some different type. Gives you some perspective. It gives you a, a whole lot of perspective. Okay, you know, I was a, a social welfare uh, major. In college, school, right? You know what I'm saying? So no matter where I was at, the people were the same. You had your higher ups, you had your in-betweens, and then you had your, your rock bottoms. Yeah. Yeah, I fit in with the rock bottoms more, so where I go. So this is why this is very special for me right now. Yeah. Hold on, what's that? 
So this is the body oil. When we apply it, this will help put back the moisture into the skin. Can you do my whole body with that brush? <laughs> That's gonna take a long time. They probably have bigger brushes. I don't Yeah. No, I want that, that brush right there. So now you're officially a CEO. How many CEOs are there in the NFL playing right now? Can't be many. A lot of them just doing it the right way. Yeah. To where if they is CEOs, you don't, you don't know about it, which yeah. is the way I wish it was for me. Yeah, but I mean, like, you're one of the most talked about players in the league. And I don't know why. Right? Yeah, because you don't want to talk. It's some weird, they ain't that f***ing weird. If I was always talking, then they'd be like, shut up. But since I ain't talking, they like talk. It sound like they want to control a motherfucker. They make me, they force me. Is that yeah, what it right. sound like, baby? You don't think so? Yeah. So if I tell you, if you don't talk, I'm gonna garnish your check. You gonna start talking, huh? Of course. <laughs> Forced but it, you. But it doesn't like matter what- Like they try to force me. It doesn't matter what you say though, right? It don't. But okay. you gotta remember, at the end of the day, once you open up your trap, you're doing exactly what they told you to do. But I think that, I think that like you not talking, like a lot of people, probably see that and they're like, listen, how many times can he be asked the same exact question? At the end of the day, right? It's only so many things that can happen in a football game. Like you've been asking this quarterback or this running back the same question since they was a fucking rookie. They all go and watch somebody else interview and then just recycle their questions in a different way. Right. Get boring. Yes. Get annoying. But my thing is why it ain't boring and annoying to the people that's watching it? It is. Ain't they tired of seeing this? I've heard the same thing over and over again. I would rather see Marshawn Lynch in a spa having champagne than hear about what he thought about the box being packed during the game. See? But we know that's going to happen. But that's why we're here. All right. This is incredible. So this is technically a pedicure. Is No. Yes. This is a massage. No, this is a pedicure. Is, um, You're getting a pedicure, my is, man. Um, the pedicure includes a massage of the, the feet and the, the calves. Um, they tricked you. They just slyly started to do a pedicure before you even could tell them no. That's all right. That's I, how it I, works. It's cool. She doing her thing. Do your yeah. thing, girl. So you know a little bit about ball, too, huh? I'm not an idiot. All right, I feel you, big dog. <laughs> OK, what's your team? Don't lie. Cause oh. I'm sitting here. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. It's the Patriots. For real? Yeah, I'm from Massachusetts. Oh yeah, sh I like them too. And I gotta be honest, I'm happy that you didn't run the ball at the end of that game. I'm kind of glad. I'm happy. Uh, I, 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 me too. To tell you the <laughs> truth. <laughs> yeah. Cause everybody's basically saying like the Seahawks would have won if he just no, they just gave not the ball. because of that. Because then I probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to play in my hometown. Why do you say that? I think I'm getting sympathy opportunities right now, you feel me? No, I don't think, I, I mean, it's I good that I'm you're- I think I'm getting sympathy opportunities. No, I mean, it's good that you're no. modest, but I don't- That ain't modest. Had we ran that and we would have scored, I will be in a different position. And it probably wouldn't be in a position for me to actually be playing for the home team. The Seahawks would just lock you down too much. I, mean, you know, I don't know what would have happened with it, but but what, I mean, whatever, you know, you get to Oakland uh, a couple years before they want to move to Vegas. So you get to be at home, you get to play at home. And, you know, it's got to be more meaningful, not just that like the Raiders are getting better and better every year, but that you're surrounded by family and friends that you like grew up with, you know? I know, man, and a community that I'm growing. Yeah, I mean, that's the like, that's like what's on the Beast Mode shirts, right? The whole city the riding with you. For real. Right? So man, I don't like I don't know if you know or not, but like with this beast mode shit, it's it's really it's really helpful. We gave 30 kids the opportunity to start their own online business. And then we had two champions who will be working uh hand in hand with Shopify to grow their whole uh business motto out. That's incredible. Hell yeah it is. Maria, we have the deluxe treatment yes, beginning now. Could you, um, could you fill us in on what is about to happen? The seaweed mask on your feet and your legs. Mask. Yes, it's good for uh, hydration and 
revitalized the skin as well. Can I ask why it's good to make sure that your feet are well moisturized? I don't want no dry chap feet. What you mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, so we don't have dried, chapped feet. We don't have the the, the, uh, the Fred Flintstone feet, the Fred bro. Fred Flintstone feet. We don't have the Fred Flintstones, bro. I say this to every guest of mine, mm -hmm. that your feet take you everywhere in life. If you didn't have feet, just imagine well, how would you get around? I would roll, baby. Oh, that answers but that question. But it's very difficult, right? Yes, it's very difficult. Y'all still ain't told me no prices on this, though. Can you tell us, can you read out the prices? I like her stat. Well, I'm already, uh, no, I'm not, never coming back. The seaweed leaves are actually hand-picked from Ireland. Why do you get it from Ireland? They got the best seaweed. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Marshawn, you gotta let, you gotta let prices go right now because this is relax mode. This is relaxation mode. This is no thinking about prices, no thinking about the playbook, my God, just chill, man. All right, man. <laughs> Shit. Let's talk about, obviously, you know, we're taking care of your body right now because you're back in the thick of it, but what about like your mental state after a year off? What's that like? Like, like I said, man, I get to look at things from a different light. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, some things I don't take as hard as I used to. Like what, for example? You said, like what? Like, I hate getting up in the morning. Yeah. But now I know getting up in the morning, why I'm getting up in the morning, and I'm doing it for a reason, to have a cause. Helping these kids start companies and... You see know. what I mean? That's yeah. why I'm looking at it from a different way, because these are all the things that I would be wanting of the kids to do, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at it as it's painful, and I don't want to do this shit. But I'm like, this is the same thing that I'm telling them they have to do in order to be successful, so. Yeah. You're leading by example. You're to not just like people that watch the NFL, but especially to your town, the town that you came from. Does that motivate you to do what you're going to do on the field? No, that motivate me to do what I do off the field. What I do on the field is what I do on the field. Where that shit comes from, I have no idea. It's just in you. I'm telling you, bro. One thing I learned about thinking on the field was you can't do that. Because that moment you stop to think, that's the moment you get fed up. Yeah. Yeah, so on the field, there's no thinking. There's reactions and mm -hmm. actions to reactions. But other than that, thinking, that take too long. Where did Beast Mode come from? Where did that originate? No, nah, it started in Pop Warner. It just had a different name. What was the name then? A uh, man child. Man child. Yeah, I had a uh, a coach, Dale Reed. Yeah. And he used to always say that boy, that boy, a man child. I didn't understand it then, but ultimately what it turned into was was beast mode. Yeah. yeah. Were you money in college? Yeah. Is that right? That started my senior year in high school at an all star game. Oh yeah. Yeah. How did that start? In practice, you know, we were trying to get. It done and uh, one of the defensive players was like damn every time they put you in it's just like money I actually went to Cal with him and played with him too oh yeah bully dub dub yeah then he just started calling me money Lynch Marshawn we're starting to get unpeeled now I know you said no to a pedicure at the very beginning I didn't get no pedicure yeah you did no I didn't Marshawn, that was a pedicure. I got a massage and a seaweed wrap. Well, you can call what you want, but the people at the spa called a pedicure. I don't believe that shit. All right, well, you know, the beauty's in the eye of the beholder or something like there that. There you go. It's one of them goddamn it's sayings. one of those sayings, yeah. But I know it looked like she wiping diarrhea off my feet right now, though. It's, it's seaweed, but it doesn't look very appetizing. I'll give you that. But it looked like diarrhea off my feet. How, how do you feel after this, though? I mean, shit, I think halfway through, I think you had to wake me up twice, but you know what I'm saying? I, I know it served its purpose. Y'all got me on my element in here playing with my feet. You know what I'm saying, though? With Vicky and Maria. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But ultimately, though, this, this shit was solid, though. All right. So, yeah, big dog, it's about that time for me, man. I appreciate it. Okay. 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I can, I can, uh, I'll cover us this time. You want to get us next time? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Uh, you, you do got it. Okay. All right, now you take care, big dog. Right. Bye, Marshawn. Have a great season. <sighs> Maria, you're an angel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Where'd that champagne go? We got all the cars you could ever want. What are we looking for? Gotta, gotta, gotta get some fast, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The need for speed, man. It's, speed. Everyone needs that. We're pushing it, baby. Pushing it. We're pushing it. We're seeing pushing what this baby can do. How much does this car cost? That you can customize you up to wherever your imagination can take you. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I definitely, I'm gonna put this pedal to the metal. I'm Jono, and I'm here with the assist.